peace, health, and enlightenment, y'all. This is Herbalist Uriah. Look, just came here just to bring y'all a quick message. We got to be able to battle against our temptations. We got to be able to battle against all the tools that Satan is using out here to keep us following after our flesh, our fleshly desires. We have to understand that the flesh wants pleasure, but our spirit, it don't care about the pleasure. You know what I'm saying? The spirit is okay with receiving pain because pain, that's what grows the spirit. You know, but society, it have us being uh, just so concerned about making ourselves, uh, you know, feel good. Just call that a temp uh, temporary, temporary pleasures. You know what I'm saying? Fast pleasures that leads to pain and destruction later on in life. We got to understand that that's not what true growth is. We have to build ourselves up mentally in order to truly heal ourselves. So Satan is using all these different distractions. It comes in the form of TV. They promote all these different advertisements to keep, to get you to go the wrong way. You know, about these fast foods and junk foods. They have porn for people that's battling with porn addiction. You know, that's that got you, you know, addicted to the 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 lustful desires of that you know everything they have your friends that you surround yourself with that's stuck on their bad habits and then those bad habits become a part of your life you start picking up that energy so satan moves through different things he has so many different tools that he can use to get what, what he want done to you and have control over your body so we have to do something to battle against that. We have to start bringing in different um, tools, righteousness, tools of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? We have to start praying. We have to start fasting. You know what I'm saying? We have to battle against the flesh because the flesh is, you know, is prone to go the wrong way. So we have, like I said, we have to start building up our spiritual body, our mental and our physical body. You build up your mental by battling against fear. Anything that you are afraid to do, you have to go head on and try to do it and get it done. It can be anything, anything that you are afraid to do. Battle against that because you should not be operating in fear at all. Once you start operating with fear, uh, out of fear and start battling against that, you'll start seeing your mind start to get stronger because fear is, is, is all developed within the mind. Like they say, it's false evidence appearing real. So it's not nothing real. So you got to battle against fear in order to increase your mental strength. You know, you have to um, learn how to fast. Fasting, that's what builds up your spiritual body. Fasting and praying. Fasting, turning away from all the things that you are used to doing. Rather if it's watching TV. Rather if it's watching porn. Rather if it's eating bad foods. Fasting away from all these different things. I don't care if it's playing the video games. It don't matter. Fast away from all the things that you normally do on a daily basis fast away from those type of things and you'll start to see that okay i have power over my vessel to break away from these things because you are not supposed to allow food to have power over you or no type of low desires to have power over you if you want to destroy it if you want to get rid of it you should have the power within you to break away from it but all of these different drugs inside of these foods this, these chemicalized foods and these chemicalized medicines that they are giving us to suppress the things that the foods cost all these things are having power over us to the point where we can't even break away from it so we can't say that we are living at our best and operating in the spirit because we don't have no spiritual powers to break away from the things that the flesh that is attached to the flesh you know the flesh is attached to these things and they know how to tap in and make you addicted to make your flesh be addicted to these things so we have to be able to overpower these type of things and go against it and battle against it you know we have to keep on fighting the good fight we can't be operating on low forms uh you know low frequencies low energy levels if i if i want to break away from something i should have the power to do so if i want to break away from eating meat i should have the power to do so if i want to break away from eating candy i should have the power to do so if you want to break away from from smoking you should have the power to do so Everything 
that you want to break away from, you should have the power to do so. The problem is we just, we are not flooding our minds with the positive things. And whenever I decided to break away from marijuana, using myself as an example, I had to break away from the people who were smoking marijuana inside of my household. I had to break away from that type of stuff. You know, I had to start exercising. I had to get out of the house. You know, I had to go outside the house, get out the house, start exercising, start jogging. Whenever I was uh, switching over to the plant-based diet, I had to look up or, you know, listen to people that were speaking about it, the benefits of it, keeping me motivated. I had to bring in my my tool set because Satan has his tool set aiming at you. So it's up to you. Are you going to use Satan's tools to destroy yourself? Are you going to turn away from all this type of stuff and start bringing in the righteous tools to start battling against all these different things? You got to start turning up, turning off the TV. You got to start cutting off people. Because if you are surrounding yourself with these things and you are already weak, it's a good chance you're going to pick up these bad habits. You got to build yourself up strong and stand on a solid foundation. Then you can go back and shine your light upon others that's lost. But until then, you got to break away. You got to isolate yourself from all these different things. It's okay to cut off social media. It's okay to cut off these things and just go sit down in nature. Let God talk to you. You know, we have to break away from all of the the filth that is, you know, out here in many different forms. Like I said, physically, mentally, and spiritually, all forms is aiming at you to take you out. It's Herbalist Uriah. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace, health, and enlightenment.